Hello, this is Wesley Fryer with Moving at the Speed of Creativity, and I'd like to just give a quick overview of three different applications you can use on an iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad to create digital stories. First thing I'll do is just basically show you the names of these, and then we'll go through them in order. And the first two are free applications. The first one is StoryKit, designed really for creating an electronic storybook, but it works for a digital story that's not necessarily a book uh, as well. Second one is called Story Robe, and this one will create a video rather than a web page that you'll click on, and it is also free. The last one costs three dollars, and it is called Sonic Pix, and is definitely the best of these three applications. You're going to want to get your images first into photos, and you're going to want to make your plan before you launch your program, and each of these can be used in relatively similar ways. This is StoryKit, and I'm just going to open up for editing a project that I did in September when I had a chance to visit Shanghai, China, and go to uh, Suzhou, China. You can see that we've got some different elements here. We have pictures, text, we've got audio, and what I'm going to do is go down here to the bottom and click on Create New Page at the bottom, and what this is going to do is um, actually, huh, that was interesting, I can delete these elements. I was thinking it was going to give me a blank page, but it brought back what I had just done before. I can add in an image and it will drop in. I move it where I'd like to have it. I can stretch that. I can click to add text. Obviously this isn't related to my topic. This is just for an example, but I can have a little bit limited options for adding that. Uh, the position of the text, and then I'm going to go ahead and record audio. I think I may have a 60 second limit on, on the audio here. I'm not positive, but once I stop it and go back, it's going to drop in. I can move this audio wherever I like, and basically that's it. So when I complete my story, I have the option to choose share, and when I say start sharing, it's going to email the project up to the story um, StoryKit website, which is maintained by the Children's uh, Library, the International Children's Digital Library, and it'll give me a link so that I'll be able to see that. So that is StoryKit. Let's take a look now at StoryRobe, which again is free, but this is different because we don't have to just record our um, our story picture by picture the format is a little different and it creates a video so I'm gonna go ahead and edit this I'll show you how I can add another picture to this so if I wanted to add on another picture it's going to drop that image into my project and I could add more but if I say no here are my images when I click edit I have a chance to change the order of my images if I am not happy with that image order and then I'm going to click record story and when I click the record button now I can talk about this first image click on the next image and just keep on rolling until I get done with three minutes this does have a three minute limit for the complete story and at the time that I click stop it is going to let me name this and so I can title it and then when I say create video, it's going to actually make the video. Now, I'm going to, in the interest of time, not do that, but I will show you that the options here are to upload to YouTube or email. And I had trouble e uploading to YouTube within the uh, application, so I just, um, we've done both ways. We emailed the story, and it went to the Story Robe website and gave us a link, and we also uploaded to YouTube, but just did that through the normal um, iPhone uh, photo gallery. So last one I want to show you in our last minute is Sonic Pix, and this is definitely the best of these three applications. I'm going to go ahead and um, edit this application, uh, put in a title description. Here in the middle I add my pictures. Again I can add them from my photo library or I could add them from somewhere else. Uh, just well I guess taking them live if I don't want to add them from my library. It's going to drop the images in I can edit the order again, and you might want to consider actually um, not just getting, of course, them ordered right, but putting in the names because it will add chapter marks as it makes an M4V file. When I click record, it is going to be like Story Robe in that I will record for this first image, use my finger to flick to the next one, and record, and just continue on. When I am done and I hit pause, I hit this corner button to say save, and then the share button is going to give me the choice to create the video. So that is a very quick overview of those three applications. Wonderful tools for creating mobile digital stories. Good luck and have fun.